hello friends namaste so in today class what we do is we will create an inbound delivery in ecc system so many students are asking how to create an inbound delivery in ecc system for handling units normally you know how to create an inbound delivery using vl31n transition code so but here this ibd inbound delivery have been distributing to ewm so ewm means we are packing some material inside the cotton boxes how we need to pack here and how to distribute to ewm we will see so first we will go to the transaction vl31n okay let me check whether section is recording yes it is recording fine so what i do i will take on purchase order and already you know how to create an purchase order let me take this existing purchase order i will copy here purchase order so what i do is i will create one one point two one point two so why i am changing this uh, external id is if you are using the same external id in the ewm if already exits then it will give an error so in the ewm this external entry should not be same there must be some dif different so for that reason i have changed maybe I'm, i might have used this external id in the ewm already so i have changed 1.12 previously 1.11 just click on enter see here already in my plant i have taken two materials like uh, material 2 material 3 you can choose your own materials as well so let me take one quantity for material 2 another quantity for material 3 just click enter and here on the application bar you can see there is an icon called pack so i am packing material 2 this material one quantity it may be one bottle or it may be book or it may be laptop whatever so this material i am packing in a cotton box similarly i am packing material 3 also in cotton box just click on this pack now it is asking pack material so to pack uh, these materials material 2 and material 3 as you can see in the light items as well so we need to predefine packing materials in one of the video session i have explained you how to define the packing materials and all so here i will take so packing material pm and cotton box i have chosen so these four letters are my warehouse number so uh, always i will using the warehouse number for material types and plants etc it will be easy for me to identify which warehouse i am choosing so i have taken two cotton boxes here you can to take pallets also you can take tank whatever it depends upon the your business scenarios so here i have taken two cotton boxes that is packing material so now this material two i will pack in the first cotton box select this material select the first cotton box and there is a symbol here called pack just you click on the pack my dear friends before packing just observe the total weight of the cotton box is one one kg or maybe one quintal whatever so here one here is also one tear unit means total weight weight of the cotton box as of now it is one so if i pack so it will become six so weight of the cotton box is one and material weight is added here so total weight will be six but what is this tear weight tear weight is weight of the cotton box only but here it is weight of the cotton box plus material so similarly second cotton box select the second line item that is second material whichever may be that that pack it so change the units so loading weight is nothing but here it is weight of the material material second material third we have taken material five weight plus cotton box one weight so total weight will be six weight and just save and at the bottom you observe uh, one uh, inbound delivery number will be created and it will be distributed to ewm just to select click on save see here so this 1800 last ending with 616 is the ibd number inbound delivery number and it is distributed to wms so now we will go to the wms that is the warehouse management system ewm system so come back here this color purple color is my ewm and here this uh, gray color i mean you know, this different color uh, what you can call light blue or whatever so this is ecc so that it will be easy for you to identify which screen i'm referring so here 
still the abd is not distributed here it is last 602 but our inbound delivery is 616 see here so go to uwm first select which we errors you are referring here is gbwh maybe some other students may be practicing the different uh, warehouse number or you may be uh, handling two different warehouse in your offices so first select my warehouse number click on this here yes this is my warehouse select then click on this execution effort button so it will ask on pop-up message click on yes now we'll see whether our uh, latest distribution is done or not inbound delivery is created or not yes here 616 is the inbound delivery now we are not seeing any materials here materials are not there just to double click on this line item you can see the materials here so material 2 is available in uwm 3 is also available but as we know we have packed this two second material and third material in a cotton box but i am not seeing any cotton box number here handling units so in the line items click on hu handling units okay just you see here see here material 2 is in cotton box material 3 is also in one cotton box and these numbers one series start with 2003 and ending 2004 ending so these are all uh, material number range for a material type that is packaging material types understood so now the just you observe here the case check tech box this box is is not checked means not ticked so it is in active state not inactive so this line item is in inactive this line item may be in inactive this line item may be in inactive so for some cases sometimes you will be doing some knowingly or unknowingly some mistakes so this inbound delivery will be inactive so how to resolve the inbound delivery in the inactive means select that line item and click on this active button activate so if there are no errors then this particular inbound delivery will be in uh, active mode means it will convert inactive to active so usually uh, my experience uh, what i have faced is so when there is a number ranges uh, changes or some configuration so is wrong then the inbound delivery will be in inactive states so and as you may my latest created inbound delivery is in active state no need to activate again so double click on it just go to inbound delivery okay see my inbound delivery is now it is in ewm so initially it is inbound delivery notification it is an interface between ewm and ecc now if you select this inbound delivery see here now we are in this inbound delivery page or in the station okay now there are two options two points you need to uh, observe here my dear students just to select on this line and there is an option called good receipt if you select this button good received both second material and third material will be received into the warehouse but you don't want to uh, receive entire unit all the materials you need to receive one by one only you need to select second material or you need third material only or some cases the material which is second material which is coming in truck is delayed maybe some got punctured in between on the way so whatever may be the reason so if you are uh, receiving if you want to receive only the second material then by individual materials or loose products there are option cards process codes so using these two we can control the good receipt but if you are using in handling units late, recently i have uh, created an inbound delivery with handling units i have packed material inside the cotton box the, uh, these materials are not loose products they are in cotton box so handling units so now there is an option called hand receipt select the first line item here is an option good receipt so do not use any process codes here see here in these line items we cannot use any process codes but here if you go to individual items products loose products here we can see process codes using these process codes we can adjust the quantity goods receipt everything if you want to receive both the materials select this line and click on go receipt okay now i will go to handling units select the first one select the second one as well so if you want to receive both the units select this line this line is remote it is a header level so within this inbound delivery within this document there are two items are packed okay so i will take the good receipt so just you observe here good receipt is not started means we have not received any goods Select this line item and click on the good receipt. 
now this status will change see good set is completed not partially completed completed unloading has not done means received uh, the goods are into the our warehouse but we have not taken inside it is at the gate or maybe at the door so here if you select only one line and select good received it will be partially it will be partially if you want to cancel this good received select this line here good received reverse the good received just to select so this will be reverse not started let me show you how uh, the partial will be there select this uh, i cannot tick this good received now i will unselect first line this line is i will now select okay so i will select this line and uh, i cannot use this because i am using uh, accessing this line item so good received click on the good received just observe the status see partially completed means you have received goods only one material only some co cotton boxes of this inbound delivery in within the inbound delivery there are two materials we have received only one material select the selection line item click on the good received and good receipt is completed understood so so this is one simple video i have created in the next video what we do is uh, we will discuss the next step what we need to do okay after this good receipt uh, the warehouse task will be there here we will need to create some warehouse task means we are now the goods are in our door in the gate now how to receive how to unload packing put away etc we will discuss in the next class thank you bye bye take care